So I wanted to ask you about uh, the end user experience. We talked about the overall kind of corporate objective and initiatives and how Silk Road's products are helping you to achieve those goals. From an a individual contributor perspective, as it relates to performance, let's start with Open Hire. How has Open Hire helped your recruiters with their performance and recruiting and getting talent through the, uh, the system and the process? It has really streamlined their process. We receive about 900 applications a day. Um, previously, they still applied online, but through a homegrown portal that we had created. So we would have stacks and stacks of paper that would come to an email address, and they would come down and have to be sorted and separated and then worked through. So at any given time, we were working on, on leads from two to three weeks ago. Um, the challenge with that is people are, in this economy specifically are out there trying to find a job immediately. So what this was able to do is allow us to lower our FTE count, increase the, uh, the time that we were truly able to look at the high potential talent, and push them through a process that was not only easy for the applicant, but also easy for our employees and our managers to work through the process. Now a lot of your uh, employees, you mentioned work from home, really doing a, a phenomenal blue collar type of job. Mm -hmm. Any issues with their experience getting online? Um, maybe not necessarily the most tech savvy of, um, of individuals, but still, you know, mm -hmm. what, what's that experience been like? Any feedback from? That's one of the great things about the Silk Road products, and of um, suite of products. Um, as opposed to other companies that their systems do not really look the same or feel the same as you work through different modules, Silk Road has done a great job of ensuring that the user experience is the same consistently through, the, through whatever product that they're working through. Where they may be doing something different, from whether it's performance appraisal or they're walking through the onboarding process, um, it's still going to look the same way, it's going to be worded the same way, and the system's going to be intuitive enough to walk them down the path they need to hand in hand. So the time and energy that our managers and recruiters have had to spend in the past by uh, hand walking someone through a packet of paperwork is uh, virtually gone now. Um, one of the challenges that we initially had anticipated we were going to have was the lack of internet access or the lack of access in the field um, with these in-collar, blue-collar type positions. And we have not found that to be the case at all. It has been embraced across the organization at all levels, from our lowest level to our highest level. That's wonderful. As it relates to red carpet on the back end side, for the folks who work at your company that have to touch the value chain and the experience mm -hmm. of the new employees, how has that helped improve your day one readiness? We've gone from having about a six week readiness period to approximately three day readiness period now. Um, and those three extra three days are primarily because of outside services that we have to rely on that have not been able to integrate into the red carpet solution. Um, but from an internal standpoint, whether it be from our, our identity management group with our life cycle management through our network provisioning, system provisioning, people are ready on the first day that they arrive with us. Have you been able to take all of your forms and put your forms online and automate that process as well? 100%. Not, even, not only from an onboarding standpoint, but also from dri driving our life events through the red carpet portal, our offboarding, ensuring that our leave requests and our open enrollments are also all done through red carpet. Once those integration points are written to our HRIM system, it was very simple to set up additional instances of the red carpet product. What about management of I-9s and the challenges in general around management of I-9? Has Red Carpet helped your organization streamline that process and take a lot of the pain away? Of course it has. Um, we now have zero instances of uh, errors on our I-9s because Red Carpet won't allow there to be, uh, be issues with the I-9. Additionally, because it integrates directly into the Department of Homeland Security, we're able to really ensure that we're processing our I-9s appropriately through the E-Verify product. Wonderful. So your employees come on board, um, they come into your organization, they have an idea about what they're going to do, they get onboarded appropriately. As it relates to performance, what are some of the objectives that you're trying to align uh, from a, a line of sight out to the employees in the workforce as it relates to uh, goals and managing goals? What's that process look like? Well, at this point now, I, I'll, I'll give you an example. Prior to uh, us launching the red carpet product, the uh, um, open hire product and the Wingspan product, we were running at approximately 111% turnover. Um, of course, we don't believe that this is the silver bullet, but in the first quarter of this, after implementation, we were able to reduce it to 76%. Um, we contribute that directly back to the, to the Silk Road products 
because of the ability to, sh to uh, better screen applicants on the front end, identifying the candidates that are not going to work out through our process, and then making sure they were socialized and brought on appropriately, and giving them the resources and the training that they needed to ultimately be successful in their role. Um, to answer your question further, the the uh, the workflow that the managers are working through to ensure and then having the the time taken away from the administrative tasks that they were doing previously from a empo employee appraisal process to actually spend time one on one with their individual employees they're able to better coach and mentor them and document the different com the different um, aspects that are going through the process and training to actually get your folks up to speed um, even your existing workforce as you come up with uh, new courses, new content, things like compliance that you want to get out. Um, how does Greenlight help in getting that out to your distributed workforce? Has that been a value? It's Ultimately it has been, um, absolutely. It's, it is just click, click and you can roll out an entire course curriculum to the, whatever segment of the population that you wanted to roll it out to. Whether it be based on the department or the position or the individual employee. What's great is that we were able to look at our internal architecture of how everything was laid out in our HRIM system and roll that out directly out to the wingspan and to the red carpet products. So from a system of record standpoint, we were able to ensure that, from, that everything was always in touch with one another and there was no additional maintenance work that was going to be on our side. From a cost perspective, um, would you say that the products and how you've used them, you mentioned going from 111% to 77% or 74%, mm -hmm. I believe, um, that must translate into some phenomenal uh, dollars as it re relates to replacement costs. Do you feel it comfortable does. about the investment that you've made and the value you've gotten back? Not only from a, from a uh, soft cost perspective, as you just mentioned, but from a hard cost perspective. On red carpet alone, we were spending over $100,000 a year just on printing our pre-employment packets um, to mail out. That's not counting the shipment of those packages, the processing or those other pieces. So the red carpet products pay for themselves almost as soon as they're implemented. And that cost, it sounds like, maybe went down to about zero? That went down to zero percent. Um, we do no printing whatsoever in 2009. Um, one of the great things as well is from a compliance standpoint, we're able to give auditors from the OFCCP or the EEOC immediate access and data that they're requesting because we've captured it all electronically. So no longer um, in, a, in an audit that we went through earlier this year, we did not have to have them physically come on site, um, which of course as we know when they come on site they start to look and they can find other things that we may or may not be prepared for them to find, but by being able to segment out our data and send them specifically exactly what they were asking for, they were able to close that audit within a matter of, of weeks rather than months. You mentioned HRIS, HRMS, do you integrate the products and how did that process work if so? Um, Silk Road actually had a, a product already in place, um, a two-way API interface already written to the Oracle platform, so it was really just plug and play. No issues on integration, getting the types of data that you need in or out of the system? The issues were more on our side than the Silk Road side, and I would say that the issues compared to other integrations that I've been involved with were very minimal. It was mainly building a production environment that we were able to walk through an approval process once it got into to our HRIM system because we didn't want the ability to write directly to a, a hard file. And employee size, where is Mass Tech today and where do you see the company being? What's your goals in the next year to two years if you can? Right now we're just under 10,000 employees. Um, we are going to experience phenomenal growth in 2009 and 2010 as we continue to diversify our portfolio of services. So as opposed to uh, other organizations that may be um, cutting back, we are definitely in a position of growth.